It is already being used at Anderson. We uh, use it real time. Uh, it is part of our practice. We have found it very helpful for particular types of drugs that we know can cause rhythm disturbances. Probably the most important thing I forgot to tell you is we cannot forget with the cancer patient. The goal is to successfully get them through their treatment with minimum toxicities. And when these toxicities show up, what we typically want to do, our go-to move, is to stop a life-saving drug. For example, ibrutinib, which is approved for CLL lymphoma. Now we have the capabilities, we can identify these problems, treat them, and prevent patients from stopping their crucial life-saving oncology drugs. That's where I see the biggest advantage, is we use it in our practice. Some drugs, such as ibrutinib, if you discontinue, there's some data now that comes from New York, if you discontinue the drug for just eight days, that starts to impact how long they live. So we really need to do a better job of making sure patients get on their cancer therapy, but also stay on them so that they can maximize their outcomes.